Inflation is a big scary word that we're hearing in the media every day right now, and most of us have never really experienced it before. What's gonna to happen to you and your investments in an inflationary period, and how can mobile home parks be a hedge against inflation? The truth is, inflation creates winners and losers, and it doesn't take much to put yourself in one category or the other, but the default is losing. <laughs> in this episode, I'll show you why mobile home parks and commercial real estate in general are some of the best vehicles to hedge against inflation. So let's do this. Hey guys, Mario Dottillo. Welcome back to my channel where we talk everything mobile home parks. I'm not sure if you know this, but it's free to subscribe to the channel, so be sure to do that before we get started. Since I'm not an economist, I'm sure I left out some positives and negatives in this video. I'd love to hear your insights in the comments below. What's inflation anyways? Hmm. Well, it's the general rise in price of an economy where every dollar buys you less and less goods and services. Just like anything else, when supply increases and there's more and more of an item, the value decreases. Well, in the case of inflation, your dollar decreases. Think about how much money has been created or printed and pumped into our economy via stimulus and subsidies since 9-11, and even more recently during COVID in 2020. Our U.S. economy is flooded with dollars. In simple terms, what does this mean for you and I? Well, the old advice of save up your money will now make you poor. You have to invest your money in assets that are gonna grow in value at the same or faster rate than the rate of inflation. Back in 1980, we hit the highest rate of inflation of 13.5%, which caused a lot of problems. Investing in real estate in general is known to be a great way to protect your wealth against inflation, but there's some reasons why mobile home parks really stand out from the rest. It's important to understand that you wanna own the property prior to inflation taking off, because once it does, your dollar will buy less and less of it. First thing to consider is when everything starts to go up, so do your operating expenses, such as insurance, taxes, labor, materials, everything. In return, you can pass those increased costs onto your tenants in the form of rent increases. With certain property types, this can be problematic if you have long-term leases with fixed rent rates. Mobile home parks are typically an annual or even a month-to-month -month lease, which allows for the park owner to keep raising rents in order to keep up with inflation. The second thing to consider is that the increased income is gonna cause your property value to go up since you're gonna keep your rent rate increases going at a faster pace than your expenses. I recently did an episode on how to value a mobile home park, so be sure to check that out so you better understand this. If you've leveraged your property with debt that's fixed for a long period of time, there's a huge opportunity here to not only keep up with inflation, but to grow your wealth exponentially. Which leads me to my third point, debt. Now I know we've heard that debt is bad, but there's really a difference between good debt and bad debt. Good debt is used to buy appreciating and cash flowing assets, where bad debt is used to buy depreciating assets. Here's how this works. So if you owe $1 million against a property and inflation causes you to increase your rent rates at a rapid pace, your dollars are now less valuable to pay for everything else, but here's the catch. Your mortgage payment stays the same. So now you've got a higher net operating income, which allows you to create more cash flow after your debt service. And you can take that and either pay down the debt or just have more cash flow. In this case, no matter what, it gives you a much higher net worth. Fourth, since the government is constantly trying to control the economy by manipulating it, there is a risk that they increase rates too high like they did in the 1970s and 80s and everything hits the fan creates a decrease in real estate values because the cost of debt is too expensive to afford the inflated real estate prices. As long as you don't need to sell your property and you've got access to debt or equity, this might create an opportunity for you to go out and buy more of it. As interest rates come back down and cap rates balance out, now you've got a property that still generates a higher NOI. If you wanna know how to get started buying mobile home parks, check out this video right here on how to fast track your way to ownership. The fifth thing to consider is that mobile home parks are the most affordable housing option. And when people's buying power is weakened, they tend to look for more affordable options. This causes them to move from A and B apartments to C apartments and mobile home parks. It creates increased demand and puts even more upward pressure on rents. Number six, 
the cost of construction goes up so much that it becomes difficult to build additional housing supply. Well, rents increase because supply can't keep up with demand. If builders do keep building, prices have to go up due to the underlying labor and material cost increases. While many are unaware of the negative effects of inflation, you can position yourself to benefit from it and grow your wealth. Mobile home parks and other real estate can be a great investment to benefit from inflation, but you have to own these assets now before it's too late.